big on Fashala from zigos.com. <laughs>A few weeks ago, I went to Tunisia with CMD Travel and Tours, based in Nigeria, uh, along with their partner in Tunisia, Eden Tours, and the Tunisian Tourism Board. And um, the trip was focusing mainly on the historical bits of Tunisia, along with some fun parts. And uh, it was focusing mainly on Tunis, Sus, a day trip in Cairo, and Hammamet. From Lagos, with Turkish Airlines, two hours in Istanbul, and then from there to Tunis Carthage Airport. And yeah, it was a pretty decent flight getting there. So we're currently in Tunisia, we made it, we made it all safe into the country. We're about to meet with a tour operator. Okay, so Eden Tours is who we're flying, we're going, to be going around the country with. So one week of Tunisia, it's going to be a lot of traveling. So our first food experience really in Tunis was to try out some cactus fruit on the roadside and that was my first time ever trying it out. See that? What do we do with the seed? I'll try it. You swallow it. Mm. It's not, it's not, it's not healthy. I like it. It's good. Very city. Very large seeds in there. Mm. 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 It's good though. And from there we went off for lunch and we got to try out some local Tunisian dishes and the funny thing was like our tour guide Sammy, pretty awesome guy, he was like oh you know in Tunisia we eat very spicy food but then it wasn't as spicy as we tend to like it in Nigeria. Fried rice with something, a little bit of salt, some eggplant. Not bad. One more thing to note, if you're in Tunisia, definitely try out Celtia. That's their own local beer and it was pretty smooth. Vegetarians will love to eat over here because everywhere we went they had a lot of veggie options. From there we went off to see the Kataj, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the suburbs of Tunis. It was amazing to walk through the grounds that has so much rich history that I just never expected and I'm so grateful to have experienced during my time in Tunisia. From Carthage, we went off to Sidibou Said, a coastal town that looks a lot like Santorini, with its blue roofs, white buildings, Instagram worthy doors to take pictures in front of and lots of shops to empty your wallet at for some souvenirs and trinkets for loved ones. One dinner for this? Thank you. Okay, let's start. Yeah. What's the video called? What's the name of this then? The fricassee is very good. My favorite fricassee. sweet food. Yeah. For one dinner. <laughs> it's like um, bitter. It's savory. It's like eating like um, an egg sandwich with tuna in there. Okay. I'm going to get sick. Before we head up to Sus. Sus blew my mind away. We stayed at a beachfront property with an amazing spa, lovely rooms, great view from the balcony, and it was so well located. They had so many water sports to engage in. You can lay on the beach, one parasailing, 
um, right in front of the hotel and got to see some beautiful views of Seuss from above. On the other exit end, they have an amusement park to spend the night and just marry away with with family. <laughs> you can also go off to walk on the marina and there are a bunch of shops there. We went to a bar there, tried out some local wine. We went off to Kariwon, which is about two hours drive from where we're staying at. And there's so much history in Tunisia. So it's definitely in our days considered it as the religious capital. We went to La Mosque du Barbier a place that also serves as a burial place for one of Prophet Muhammad's companions. And the mosque itself is so beautiful where they had such amazing mosaic artwork along the wall. Before heading off to the Grand Mosque in Kairouan, which apparently is one of the oldest places of prayer. And so for those who do visit the Grand Mosque, be careful not to be too loud or disruptive in any way because the locals frown heavily upon that. After the mosque visit, we had a quick lunch at the Kasbah Hotel in Kairouan. And that was a pretty nice spot. From lunch, we drove off to El Gem to go see the Roman Amphitheater, their own Colosseum. This program to bring you a special report. From Seuss, our fourth night was spent in Hamamet. Hamamet is an old city that underwent a lot of changes in the past couple of decades to become the popular tourist town that it is now. We stayed in the Yasmin Hamamet neighborhood where there was so much to do. We were a 10 minute horse carriage ride from the tourist in Medina that has a souk for the shoppers. It's a theme park, a number of bars, go have some sippy sippies at ice cream shops, and a shisha spot to while the night away. The Yasmin Hamamet area is really big on water sports activities to get up to. I went scuba diving at the Yasmin Diving Center and that was amazing. It's very hot now she go in water, how it is not good. Better like this. Currently in Hamamet with what's your name? Nasser. Nasser, my instructor. Hello, uh, Algeria people. Uh, Nigeria. Nigeria. Get that shit right here. Nigeria, we all no. Africa. No, we all Africa. But well, I'm Nigerian, yeah. <laughs> My 
my friends went parasailing there also at a slightly more expensive price point and they went on the banana boat ride they did so much while i was diving my overall experience in the country was just breathtaking I would definitely go back there, spend more time exploring each destination slowly, pretty affordable for um, a budget traveler and yeah, definitely worth it. So if you want to go somewhere in Africa, think about Tunisia and let me know what you think also, okay? Bye. channel have you hit the like button and the notification button if not kindly do so right now i beg thank you oh my gosh subscribe <laughs>